I get here? Huh? Welcome back to the show, everybody. This is How Did I Get Here? And today we are joined by Jay. Alexa. And… Thorn. Yay. Hi. Multi-international superstar <laughs> of the K-pop jewel of Ooh. the genre. We have Soren from CLC here. Hi guys. I'm Soren from CLC. Thanks for having me today. How are you doing Soren? I am doing fine. Mm. Uh, we just finished with our team promotion with our new song Helicopter with CLC like about two, three months ago. Mm. And now I'm just working on myself. <laughs> what are you doing for yourself? <laughs> what I'm doing for myself? I am uh, basically still um, concentrating on my social media like YouTube. I uh, just recently got into TikTok. Oh yes you have. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes you have. <laughs> I'm growing my audience on Instagram and also maybe some good news next year with some music stuff. Whoa. Like what Jay is doing. Probably. Whoa. What Jay is that. doing. <laughs> Start of the, the Cube adult. Rebellion. <laughs> <laughs> um, but let's let's talk about some of the social media stuff you're doing. I mean, I saw you blowing up on TikTok. Mm-hmm. You're well, doing good Yeah, numbers. I started TikTok January, March. Just because I thought it would be fun to mm-hmm. do. Um, and because of COVID, you know, everyone was staying home. True. And also, we weren't really busy with our promotion. So mm-hmm. my friend was like, why don't you just start TikTok? And I was like… Really? It's kind of… You know… Mm. I, I had like an image of the app before yeah. that. Yeah. So I was like… Oh, I don't think it's for me. But then I started… And now I'm about to reach a million. It's Dude, been like 5-6 months. You're nuts. Dang. I don't That's know. Crazy. I just like doing it. I just Legend. post up every day. And then… Legend. You know people now… People are now like starting to recognize me as… Like as Thorn. You know. The TikToker? The TikToker. The yeah. TikToker. Some people Dang. think I'm a TikToker actually. But I mean… <laughs> You know, exposure, ex- exposure. So mm. I'm, I'm fine with that. Thanks. I agree with that. I yeah. actually fully agree with that. Yeah. I started doing Twitch recently, and a lot of people I think saw. I'm a Twitch streamer. <laughs> you actually saw mm. a part where I saw, I saw a clip, <laughs> a clip of your fan cutting up, um, you teaching how to sing at like 5 a.m. in the morning, mm. and I, I was really entertained by that. So, uh, ah. Yeah. 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 Grain of salt, everybody. Grain yeah. of salt. <laughs> I don't ever say anything serious on any of my social media platforms. Um, thank you so much for being with us today. Before we go in, mm-hmm. I just want to remind all of the viewers to subscribe to the podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts and leave a review. Also, check out youtube.com slash diepods for the full episodes that you're definitely going to want to see today. That includes Soren. Let's get into the media topic. Do you know what we do here? Um, I've watched <laughs> some of you guys' stuff before. So… And I got confused because I know that you guys like sit down and talk about different mm-hmm. topics. So I was like, okay, am I here today as a guest or do I just like facilitate or do I… What do I do? <laughs> so I texted Alexa last night because I got the script and I got so confused. Mm-hmm. So I texted her. I'm like, hey, um, I have a question. Like, do you have guests mm. normally? Like, what do I do on the show? Like, mm-hmm. the script doesn't really match what I have in my head. The image yes. that I have in my head right now. So she's like, I mean, just chill. We're just like talk about topics and stuff. So. We- that, we just <laughs> we just we don't. Uh-huh. I mean, what do you do here? I'm. <laughs> how did I get here? Is I have the same exact answer. <laughs> Honestly, they throw us a question, mm-hmm. we talk about it, yep. and then we come to a conclusion. Love that. You can facilitate. You can debate. You can negotiate. You gotcha. can self reflect. Oh, do whatever you got to do. But mm. the meat of today is. Drugstore makeup versus high end makeup. Do you want to take over this? Oh, I think this is your. That one. <laughs> I may not be Scary so good at this one. I don't know too much about that makeup. one. So the difference between drugstore makeup and high end makeup. Ooh. Well, that is a good question. I, I mean, like topic. I mean, Sephora. I'd say that's that's. Okay, maybe not like high end because there's some cheap stuff in there, but like you typically wouldn't see most of what's in Sephora at like. A CVS or like oh. a Walgreens. Mac. Yeah, that's high end. That's high end? High end? Yeah. Mm. Mac, we need sponsors. Or just a- I mean, we will, we will take, we will take. We will take sponsors. We work for makeup. I mean, Jay, I'm assuming you don't own like any makeup, not even like a CC cream. I have a. I have. What is going on? I have oh, lotion. <laughs> confused. You have, you have what? So confused. Yeah. You have what? See, that's that's this this is the environment that we're in. It's we kind of just talk about stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It's gotcha. kind of just chill. We just talk about stuff. Okay. She just asked me what kind of makeup I have. I have lotion and cleansing foam. That's nice. 
Okay. Nice. What kind of makeup do you guys own? Do you guys have the Bobby Browns? Huh? That's I know crazy. about those. That's right. <laughs> I know about the he's Bobby Browns. I go to shop. I go to That's shop. Right. I know about the contour and the highlights and the Bobby Browns. Oh, do I know about the contour? I know about the contour. I know about the contour. You know, you know about the contour? Dude, okay. the contour will make your nose look nice. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about it. What kind of uh, essentials do you guys feel is necessary in a kit of makeup? So you go first. <laughs> like necessary? Absolutely essential. This I cannot live without. I will die without this. I I think personally I think lipstick or tint is very important for mm. girls because I get this a lot. Like when you don't have makeup on and you don't have like your lip color, it's it's like you, you know, look dead. You look dead. Mm-hmm. People will be like, "Are you sick?" When I'm not, I'm not sick. This mm-hmm. is my natural lip color. Mm-hmm. Yo, me too. Would you like some tints or <laughs> lipsticks? No, I, I, I got a lot. I have the chapstick that kind of like colors the red uh, chapstick. Yeah, 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 I use that. Yeah. I use that. I use that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think it's a we definitely need that for both male and female. Mm-hmm. I think that is also why the that brand that you're using probably the same thing that we all use. Bobby mm-hmm. Brown. Oh yeah, Bobby Brown. That's oh. why. That's why it came out with ones with color so that uh-huh. men can also apply it on their lips. Bobby Brown's chapstick. <laughs> oh, oh, you use the Bobby Brown one. Like no. I know a lot of guy in Korea they use uh can I say the brand name the Vaseline um, oh the one with color oh I just use regular Vaseline I use Nivea okay so you think the necessities are like lip tint or like lipstick yes for girls if I have to choose one mm. what do you think for me for me personally it's got to be concealer because I don't sleep so my dark circles are uh, bad okay okay my, oh they're bad Damn. Oh. Do you just do this I real quick? the one do that goes down like no we I went to shop this morning I'm not gonna you co- you go to shop. <laughs> this is the whole show story. This is what we do. You right now are my inner thoughts. That's <laughs> like, crazy, dude. Okay. Okay. Crazy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Wow. Commitment. All right. I like it. Okay. Dedication. Just concealer. That's it. That's mm-hmm. all you need. I'm talking about like a kit, like a. So I mean, I'm like, going out. like today's a night with the girls. Well, I mean, like oh, if then. you want to get like dolled up, that's different. What's yeah. getting dolled up mean? Getting dolled up. Getting like pretty when you. Yeah. Pretty. Okay. Okay. Explain. Explain. Explain the process. How does one get dolled up? Well, if, if that happens, then I personally use um cushion. Mm-hmm. I'll have a cushion. I'll boop, 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 boop. What's that for? What's a cushion? Cushion is like… So foundation is a thicker… Uh, so this is concealer? cushion. This is foundation. Mm-hmm. And concealer is like at the back. So mm. to conceal all your flaws and stuff. How is… Okay, you just said a table and you said this is the back. So if you start with foundation. Okay. And then some people, if they don't like foundation, because foundation is so thick, mm-hmm. they'll right. just use cushion. Because cushion you can put in your bag, you can go out and just like touch up and do mm-hmm. all the stuff. Oh. And then after that, if you have like black, uh, dark spots or like, you know, mm-hmm. your eyes are like super dark and stuff, you Panda. can just use, yeah, you can use concealer to cover that up. Mm-hmm. And then you just powder yourself a little bit to get a, bit, a little bit like cakey. And then mm-hmm. you put eyeshadow, eyeliner, <laughs> and then you mascara it up, and then you draw your eyebrows, and then you put your cheeks. On, give it a little pink, a little whatever, color. and then wow. give it a little life with lipstick, and then you know you go out. So much work. That's why it takes girls like an hour and a half or two hours or something. You're saying ready. it's so much work. Like, My question is though, when you go to shop, do they not do foundation? <laughs> like, like, y'all like, how? Like, how you've been either for how long now, and you don't I'm just, know the makeup process? The guys just sleep. Oh, oh. they do get to sleep. Because oh, they don't yeah. like curl the lashes or anything. We got to like keep our eyes open and like stay awake so they can like <laughs> curl and everything. Yeah. yeah. Well, so we, get, we get in trouble for sleeping. Good but then like you. we like… Because you know like when you're on schedule, you're just like you're half there but yeah. not there. And like you knock out without knowing it. So Unless you just you knock out in place like this. Mm. And then they wow. do makeup. Yeah. That's usually how it works. Mm, okay. okay. Do girls not sleep? <laughs> <We're just laughs> no. Okay. I, we, I, we used to… Uh, CLC when we first started… Started. Like mm. we used to get… You know, scold on for sleeping at the shop because you know Word? when you're like when you're like a shinin, you're like, oh my god, I can't really control right. myself. It's like I'm tired, but I'm not like I can't. So I got we got scold on so bad. So after that, I learned my lesson. I never slept at the shop ever again. Really? That's why you just sleep in the piggy Learn. sale. Yeah. After your dry rehearsal, you know you don't sleep either. <laughs> no. Here's the thing with me. I legitimately trained myself to not ever sleep during my promotions. Whoa. Like during dur- during the day during the day. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> like at shops, like I don't sleep in shop. I don't sleep in the car on the way to like the like music show. I don't sleep blow. in the Vegas show because if I sleep, I get more tired. Like True. I have to like keep my energy up all day. That's the thing. Oh, That's just how my body works, though. Damn. But okay. yeah. But how do you how do you guys sing? Like 
if you guys don't sleep, how do you guys sing? You 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 just do it. <laughs> yeah. You just you just do You're it. The true soldiers. I I respect that. Yeah. But we get a lot of sleep. Like we really dude, concerts are nice. You get to wake up at like eleven a.m. You go to the shop. Like if you're waking up at eleven a.m., you're getting sleep. True. If you have to wake up at eleven a.m. and you didn't get sleep, that means you were playing FIFA till <laughs> eight a.m. One period, and that's your fault. <laughs> I love him. Okay, so that's your fault. But look, the thing is. I feel you guys and I, I just so much respect because if you guys can stay up during shop, if you guys can stay up during those hours and you can still sing and pull off all those dance moves with that kind of energy, man, that's respect. All right, anyway. Uh, <laughs> so makeup. <laughs> makeup. So back to makeup. 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 <laughs> I'm curious, like, what do you think? What, like, personally for you, what is like the most expensive, like, makeup object that you have? Bobby like, Brown. <laughs> you just want to keep flexing that one, don't you? Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown, please sponsor Jay. I know it's Thank expensive. You. Bobby Brown. <laughs> Uh, I have a foundation. I don't really spend too much money on makeup. Mm-hmm. I have a foundation that is about a hundred bucks oh. worth. Is that expensive? Dang. That is pretty expensive. Imagine… Uh, how long do you use foundation for? Um, Only for like if I have a a shoot mm-hmm. that I have to do makeup by myself. Right. I'll just use that because it… One, it's really expensive. And two, mm-hmm. it's just like it's so thick that like… I don't really need to put foundation on on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. How long does it last you? How long does one hundred dollar case last you? That'll probably last for a year mm. and a year and a half. Oh, yeah. And normally, a lot of shops that does makeup for artists, mm. they they do use like a lot of expensive, more like high end foundation because one, it lasts oh. longer, and two, when we go on stage and you know you're like sweating and stuff, like I feel like high end foundation will last longer. Mm-hmm. So you don't need a lot of touch up and stuff like that. True. So I know a lot of shop uses more of like expensive foundation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, I become a panda every time like I do a concert or anything. Is that because they're using like the lower tier stuff? You no. become a panda after the show? Like during and like… All my, my question is do they, do they use primer? Because hey. primer helps. Bold of you to assume. <laughs> you know what primer is. <laughs> so primer… Much like the word itself is pretty self-explanatory. It primes the skin. It prepares the skin for foundation. Basically, mm-hmm. before any other makeup, maybe like after moisturizer, mm-hmm. you apply primer. And that basically gets it to where the foundation will stick to your skin better. Or like mm-hmm. in your case, maybe concealer under the eyes. And that'll help you a lot from like having dark circles come through. Interesting. I mean, my, my, my people are kind of lit. They probably use primer. But I just like… It becomes like totally like dark here. Like during this eye area. Well, hold on. Do they use a lot of like eyeshadow on you? Just or, like, a little bit. I was like, because you don't typically get ste- like Steffi Hage makeup, heavy stage makeup. <laughs> Steffi Hage. Oh, like, who's Steffi Hage? Steffi Hage makeup. That's my Sounds like an artist name. <laughs> Steffi Hage. Steffi Hage. Okay, what about you? What about you? Products. You you were talking about expensive mm. products. Do you have any? Oh, I don't remember how much it was, but I I bought this one lipstick from Yves Saint Laurent. Oh. Just because… That was expensive. Yeah. It wasn't like mega mega. But it was like… This is a lipstick. <laughs> how much How much was it? I don't remember. But it was definitely over $50. For one lipstick. And how long does that lipstick last I year? still have it. Oh, and it I lasts bought it like last, last year. All, all, all it do. Yeah. Dude, that's cheaper than my WoW, WoW subscription. I pay $120 a year to play WoW. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Your concealer is not a bad price. Yeah. If you compare it like that. Well, I said lipstick, but I mean… <laughs> <laughs> no, but a problem with lipstick and girls is that we… Even though we, I like… I'll buy… You know, you bought like a more mm-hmm. than 50 plus dollar lipstick. Mm-hmm. And then once you see another color from you the same brand… It. And it's like, I need that. Mm-hmm. I already have one. I just bought one. Mm-hmm. But this color is pretty too. So, I need that. Okay, so here's the real question. How many lipsticks have you bought in the past oh six months? <laughs> oh, six months? I mean, we online shopping has been crazy. How, in the past six months, how many colors have we bought? I actually haven't. Let's get a guesstimate. Lipstick in the last six months. Last okay, last year. Mm, maybe about four. I've been gifted a lot though. That's the thing. Uh, so I, I'm not even joking. I have like a collection of. I have two drawers full of just lipstick sitting on my vanity. Damn, really? Yeah. I don't know where it all came Girls, from. We have like you know drawers for lipstick, oh. for cushion, for powder, for a brush, for. Mascara for whatever, you guys get gifted whatever, all this whatever. stuff. I'd say I know it's a lot of half half a lot me. of idols do. Yeah, get um, gifted really? lipstick especially. So yeah. we we spend we spend some money. Mm, we spend some money do, on cosmetics, mm-hmm. and we're gonna jump into the starting point of today, which is 
the differences between drugstore and high-end makeup. Uh, I mean, you know, in general, you know, mass market brands like CoverGirl, they like Revlon, of course, incorporate more synthetic, uh, less expensive ingredients, definitely, into their products. And it's kind of like how Soren said, you know, high-end things like Mac or Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown! Bobby Brown! <laughs> Bobby Brown. <laughs> often have premium formulas. Premium. Premium. Hello. High quality. Love that. Let's go. Why are all like Myeongpum, like premium things, brown? Like Tom Brown? Bobby Brown? I don't know. Never a thought. Oh, Tom shoot. Okay. Tom Brown? <laughs> Tom Who's Brown? Tom Brown? <laughs> Barista. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Shut up, dude. Shut up. <laughs> that was from our last podcast. Oh. Right, anyway, continue. Continue. Um, Let's see. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Ali Hope says, High-end makeup brands regularly utilize advanced chemistry for both liquids and dry powders. Hmm. Frequently, high-end makeup has cleaner ingredients, fewer mm. fillers, and a range of shades that suit uh, individual skin needs and etc. Nowadays, I'd say the range is getting a lot broader in the beauty industry, which mm-hmm, is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because a lot of brands used to only have like what? Five One, two, three, four, shades? five. Yeah. And it was like pale to like a little bit of tan. Yeah. But now we finally have like a full range of mm-hmm. shades, which is incredible. Like Fenty. Let's go Fenty Beauty. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, so good. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Continue. Continue. I mean, do you want to read a little bit of this one? Or do you want us sure. to go? Or is it- do you want a line? Do you want to read this one? No, <laughs> do you want a line? <laughs> do you want a line? <laughs> go for it. Thanks, Here you go. Guys. Which, this one? Yeah, this mm. one. Don't go running off. Don't go running off to high-end retailers just yet. At the end of the day, uh, there seems to be a place for both drugstore and high-end cosmetics in your makeup bag. Mm. Drugstore brands formulate their products with affordability in mind. High-end products, mm. on the other hand, are formulated to better suit an individual preference and goals. Meaning mm. the products serve more specific function in your beauty routine. Is there a specific product line that caters to you? Like this was made for me. Uh, Ooh. I personally really like uh, Maybelline. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh. I love Maybelline's like eyeliner and their mascara. Yes. Yeah, so mascara. I after I use them, use their products, I can I haven't been using any other products mm-hmm. other than the stuff from their line. So mm. it was made for me. Maybelline does have good mascara. Yeah. Really good mascara. You? Do you? Um, I mean, I don't think there's like one brand I'm like true to, but I mean when it comes to like eye makeup, I do tend to always use Maybelline mascara too. So, mm. yeah. Nice. What mascara do you use, Jay? <laughs> I, the one that they put on me. <laughs> I, dude, honestly though, for for how long I should be here, I've been here. I should know this stuff. I just know that like you're supposed to put the the cleansing oil first to mm-hmm. get all the oils off, mm-hmm. and then and then you go to sleep. That's that's what I know. That's about as far as it gets to me. What does that mean? Okay. Yeah, I mean… Makes sense. Great yeah. assault. Yeah. <laughs> I mean this was your shout out time guys. This is where you're going to get free products sent to you. <laughs> you guys don't want to like shout out a product that's expensive. Like Bobby Brown. <laughs> I mean do you want some Bobby Brown? <laughs> would you like some Bobby Brown Jay? <laughs> I would like some Bobby Brown mascara, <laughs> yeah. lipstick, and concealer please. All please. products please. sealed. Please. Us too. <laughs> We'll Please. take it. We'll take it. <laughs> okay. Much thanks. Um, Chicago-based makeup artist Vanessa Valiant from Valiant Beauty says that high-end products tend to have a better range of classic colors for customers. While they may showcase a certain collection each season, they aren't solely focused on trends. However, drugstore makeup brands love to pour out every trendy color that hits the market each season. Mm-hmm. Mm. That makes sense though. Like you cater to the market specifically for that season or whatever's popping right now. True. Like mm-hmm. fidget spinners. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's high-end fidget spinners. But why would you buy a high-end fidget spinner when I could just get a decent fidget spinner off the street for five bucks? But like what mm. if the fidget spinner breaks like in two days? Mm. But like the high-end ones like made of like high class like steel. So it's not gonna like… <laughs> As an owner of a high-end steel type fidget spinner… <laughs> 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 steel. Those things, those things are not… They're they're the same thing. Really? They're literally the same thing. Mm. I don't even know where mine went. Well, I will say this though. I mean, g- good, good metaphor there. But like, example, I, I know that you'll probably get it. But like when it comes to like cheap things like eyeshadow. Mm. Like drugstore brands will have a lot of fallout. Oh yeah. And they'll break in the pan so easily. Oh, yes. But like high-end ones, like it's a good formula. It won't like give you a lot of fallout. It won't like crumble in the pan. Like… Yeah. 
oh, I thought you said it breaks in the pants. And I was like, what? <laughs> breaks pan. in the pants? Pan. Breaks in the pan. Or like it like… It becomes powder. So it's well, unusable. The thing is like… Have you ever like been in shop and you've seen like your hem like drop a makeup palette on accident and like breaks? No. Okay. Well, I mean if you drop a palette or like if you just like hit it too hard. Like sometimes mm-hmm. if it's cheap, the eyeshadow palette thing will oh, like break. crumble. Yeah. I've had like pellets break on me and I still use them. But I think what matters to me personally is just the fallout. Now what is okay. a pelt? Palette. Oh you're talking… You're still talking about the thing. Yeah. yeah okay, the eyeshadow palette back. comes mm-hmm. in different colors. Oh. And those are called pans. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pans. Palettes. Pants. A lot of Bobby Brown. words. <laughs> yeah. For a million subs on Twitch, <laughs> I <Nice>. will do <laughs> a yes. makeup challenge so on Dive Studios. Yes. Can get I facilitate, please? Okay. Manifesting. Now that we've answered our questions, we're going to answer some of your questions for today. The first question comes from my name is J Rex. How important are birthday wishes to you? And is it weird if we remind others that we are having a birthday? Mm. What do you think? For me, I don't think it's that important. But this year, like I thought I wouldn't really care. Because mm. you know, I'm like a year older now. I'm not, mm-hmm. I'm not like in my early 20s but not like 30 yet or whatever. So right. I, don't really, I really don't really care. Mm-hmm. But then I thought I wouldn't care. And then my mom, she forgot to say happy birthday to me on my actual birthday. Mm. So I got really butthurt. Like all, all my friend forget. texted me. But I didn't really like… I'm like, oh thank you, whatever. But then when my mom didn't text me, I was like… What's going on? You like, know why? It's because your mom don't got cacao. Mm, yeah. Your Bold of you to say that. Cacao. Because you have cacao. I have you on cacao. And you forgot it was my birthday. I don't open so. cacao. You don't. That's nope. true. He I only open Twitch. Answering. Yeah so I mean… I don't really… I don't think it's that important. But if if like if your loved one, like mm. people who you really care, really close with, doesn't really don't can't remember your birthday, then I kinda get butt hurt. Right. Really? What's yeah. my birthday? <laughs> you know? Oh. Oh, there's where how? How do you know? Because I just remember. Damn. I know your birthday. When is it? Her birthday was a week ago, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nahat. December 7th. Wrong. December 9th. I am dis- uh. Oh, it took you long enough. Round of applause, please. Okay. Uh, I mean, do you do you feel weird to remind people that it's your birthday? Like, do you ever do that? The rotation? The, hey guys, I'll have my… Br- I don't know what to do for my birthday like a week before. <laughs> um, like, guys, I don't, I don't… Oh man, should I have a party for my birthday? I mean, well, what should I do for my birthday? You guys know like… December 15th is my birthday. So what should I do for my birthday? Type vibe? Or they'll put it up on their close friends on Instagram. I mean… What? I, like it's my birthday? Yeah. Like oh, like what, like what PSA I, it's my what birthday. What should I do? Like what should I do for my birthday? And then like I mean friends. if Damn. it's like a week before… Like they actually want to play… Like not right now because it's COVID time. But like you know… Back when planning parties was a thing. You know if someone wants to plan a party… You do have to know in advance like headcount and everything. So I don't think it's right. that bad if it's like… Hey who can make it? But it's like… Hey guys don't forget. My birthday. It's around the alarm. Like favorite subscribe. My birthday. Like I don't… You ever consider Twitch streaming? I do. Yes. Do you I game think you make it pretty I big. don't game though. That's the problem. I don't… I, I'm not good at gaming. Same. So I don't… I can… I'm really good with talking to a camera for like an hour. Mm. But like I feel like on Twitch you have to play games… To get the subs and to get the views and stuff. So not, I'm true. Like, not, I'm true, still not true. Not true. Not true. Comments. Like, should I do it? I know. You can definitely do it. Like, there's a lot of streamers who just talk to the camera for like four hours and then that's a stream. I think it's because, like, you know, especially right now, because we can't, we have very limited interactions with people. I mm. feel like people like seeing other people's interactions. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Mm. Twitch is the future. Okay. I'm telling you, Twitch is the future. Okay. I said it here first. Question two. Gotcha. <laughs> if you could suddenly be a master of any subject, topic, field, what would it be? I have three… I thought about this last night. I have three different topics. I want to be a master of… One, songwriting. Mm. Two, video production. Mm. Like editing, all this stuff. And three… This is really… Something really random but coding. Oh. Okay. That's an interesting one. Because I think coding is… It's like a high demand job these days. And you know you can turn your ideas into app. A lot of companies need like security. And coding is such a… It's really hard to study on. And not a lot of people are studying it. That's why you know you also get a lot of really good salary Mm -hmm. on it. 
Um, and yeah. I think that, you know, uh, if I, you know, was younger, I would have learned how to code. Because I think it's really important these days. And ev- everyone's on their computer right these days. And you just can make so much stuff on the internet. On an app and all that stuff. So. True. I feel like revenue exists a lot more. A lot more than it. It's like more prevalent on the internet now. Mm-hmm. Than yeah. it was like six months ago, a year exactly. ago. Exactly. Dang. What about you Alexa? I don't know. Personally just because… You know. I used to take jujitsu back in the day. So to master that and be like a top black belt. That'd be nice. That'd be mm-hmm. kind of sick. Because I never… I only got like less than halfway when I was taking jujitsu. Can you flip people? Uh, d- d- Have you seen me? Do I look like… <laughs> do do I look like… You've, you've stood next to me before, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, do I look like… I, I mean, maybe know, I can maybe, flip you. Maybe. Well, maybe I, I can flip I you or not. Like, <laughs> wait, jiu-jitsu isn't about size. It's about the movement of centrical force. Techniques. I mean, it's a defensive martial art. It's not yeah. an offensive one. So, I mean… So, technically, you could… You could flip people? Is that how it works? Or I, I don't know. Uh, no it's not so much up. More the defensive stuff is like ground. Like grappling and stuff. Fetal uh, position to take less damage. No, like that type of thing. <laughs> no, I, I just I'm just not familiar with what. what Watch what some it. like UFC and MMA stuff. Oh, and, like, it's like the grappling stuff. Yeah. I used oh. to watch UFC all the time with my dad. Like, ugh, I miss UFC kind of. Everything happens on the floor. Yes. Everything Help happens on the floor. The face, I mean, Dude, those things look like they… I don't know how they deal with that. Mm. They like three minutes in their ring and they're mm-hmm. like… <laughs> Come yeah. on Anderson Silva. Let's go. Is he uh. still… Is he still fighting? Silva? Oh, I have no idea. Is he, dude, he's… He, he's he's been around forever. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. just, 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 that's it. How are you? Me? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't really… I feel like the things that I want to do, I kind of just… I kind of just do. Mm. Like if I ever want to… Like I wanted to stream, I just did it. Uh-huh. I wanted to do music, I just did it. There's a lot of things that I tried that I wanted to do and I failed. There's a lot of things that I want to do. So I don't really have like things that I want to master. I would I would like to get better at songwriting. Mm. And like… Probably like singing. Maybe firebending at some point. Come on, Avatar. Yeah, firebending at some point. <laughs> Definitely viable. Anyway, uh, we have a couple more questions today because we got some questions for our special mm-hmm. guest. Ooh. How long would you survive in a zombie appocalypse and what would you do, Queen? <laughs> oh, no, you like, you you queen. Queen. Like, <laughs> this is a monotone. Ask, I'm gonna read the I'm gonna have to read the one with you do, Queen. Um I I would just let them eat me, to be honest. Really? Before anything happens, I'm just like, just take me and then I'll just like jump off my apartment and be like, oh, no. just Damn. take me with you. No. Damn. I don't want to go all the stress and all that. You don't want to try fighting them? No. Right? I'll just be like, just take me. I'm ready. It does seem very stressful. Mm. Yeah. Stuck I have in to the think all the time. Like, can you yeah. really go to sleep? Like, where are you going to get your food? True. Mm-hmm. <sighs> And then like at the end of The Walking Dead, the zombies aren't the enemies anymore. It's like other people. People, yeah. I feel that. That's people are the scariest. They truly are though. Mm-hmm. Are you planning to learn more languages in the future? Mm. Um, maybe. Yeah. How many do you speak right now? I speak uh, Thai, English, Korean, and a little bit of Mandarin. Used Ooh. to be better, but I didn't Ooh. have a chance to like… Yeah. And I we were in Japan for like promotion during our you know debut years right, and right. for like three, four months and like I pick up in language really fast. Mm. Oh, you're one of yeah, the good so. ones. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you on this one, Jay. I feel yeah. you. <laughs> I learned so many languages for years and uh-huh. I didn't retain anything. Oh mm. gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I think language is so important. Mm. Um and I think I mean if I if I have a chance I would definitely learn two more max. Which ones? I would definitely learn… Uh, I don't know like Spanish. Spanish is important. Mm-hmm. Spanish. Spanish is important. Because I got into… You know I was looking at… Mu- listen to music and stuff. And then I discovered… You know the market over there. Uh, Dude, with music is and crazy. So I'm like… Oh okay. I, I must jump on mm-hmm. this sometime in the future. So I really want to learn how to speak Spanish. And also uh, Japanese. Because mm. we're so close mm. and you know. Yeah. Mm, good yeah. Spread how many languages do you guys speak? Like fluently or like no chunks of it can hold a small conversation. Fluently. English mm-hmm. somewhat. Korean kind of. Mm-hmm. I feel gotcha. you on that one. Yeah. And then gotcha. Mandarin like this much and Spanish like this much. Mm. Mm, okay. 
Do you, okay. Do you use… Don't you speak like hella languages? I, I know pieces of languages. Like I studied Japanese in three months in college. I studied German for like a month in high school. I studied Mandarin Chinese for like four years. Mm-hmm. And then here I am in Korea learning the Hanguk mail. So. <laughs> Hanguk, Hanguk mail. Hanguk mail. <laughs> Isn't it hard to retain that many languages in your brain? A little bit. I confuse Spanish and Korean sometimes. Oh wow. That's like not even similar. I know. That's advanced. Yeah. So I'm like… Why? So what do you say? Like… ¿Por qué whale? <laughs> <laughs> basically. Basically. <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, that was our questions <laughs> for today. Thank you so much for those questions. And if you have more questions for us, please send them at hashtag H-D-I-G-H and let us know what our next big question to be. Uh, you can send us these questions at our Instagram and Twitter at the Dive Studios, youtube.com slash dive studios, also youtube.com slash dive pause for full episodes. We also have a what you call it? A tickety talk? It's tickety talk. Tickety talk. Tickety talk. What's your tickety talk? Mine yeah. is S-S-S-O-R-N underscore Chona Soren. Okay. Ooh. And Tickety Talk at The Dive Studio. Subscribe to the and review the podcast. And also, Soren, you have other socials that you definitely want to blast other than just your Tickety Talk. Oh, yes. I have an Instagram. I have a Twitter. Uh, I have YouTube. I have my own YouTube channel called Produce Soren. And also, you can also follow CLC's uh, official team Instagram. Official team t- uh, TikTok, Twitter. YouTube. Yes. Yeah, and all my member has individual Instagram. So go follow them too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today's story. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, did you enjoy that episode? If you did, you can always listen to the full episodes on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. And also, do not forget to subscribe and follow this channel. Also, turn on notifications. 